you get a little bit of money and you see like, oh, the entire world looks different to me now. There is a problem in America. And I, I say this because I'm part of the problem because I grew up as like the modern day male and Jake Paul, Dylan Dennis, they're just, they're from cancer, you guys. And, and, and it's like they're, they're cancer on society. And all they do is they hurt men. They hurt the image of men. They hurt the psyche of men. And the more you could just stay away from it, the better off you'll be, the better relationships you'll have. That's just toxic. How so? How do you, like, why do you think so? Man, you guys like, how are they toxic? Just, that's what I mean to say. I want to know why he doesn't like Trump. I don't think that he is saying, I don't like Trump. I'm, I think he's saying, like, I don't like Trump. Like, I'm not a fan of Trump. Not that I specifically dislike Trump. That's how I heard it. It's little things like we're talking about. You know, one of the greatest presidents, Andrew Jackson, I mean, he, he killed a man for implying his wife was a whore. Like, we used to live in this world where I did where not know that. Is, that. is that even true? Is that even true? Somebody look that up. And dignity mattered and, and what you said mattered. But now we just live in this world where like, hey, look at my clickbait. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something outrageous. And then once you get used to this, I'm going to do something more outrageous, more out Describing the Nelk Boys. Outrageous. <laughs> and, you know, the fact that we're raising all these beta males, they just buy into it. As opposed to like a real man. And again, I'm going to say watching real your man. podcast, you, you weren't fourth. But a real man would say, hey, first of all, man, no, that shit's not cool. I'm not going to support you. I'm not going to watch your bullshit. Like, I, I guess he leaked naked photos of her. I don't think he leaked them. I think they're already on but the did internet. You, but you look, did you look at them? I did. But, but again, me, like, Ooh. that's kind of like part uh, of it. I wish I had this poll up. I wish I had this poll up because I, I, it's too late now. And we have our running poll. Is Sean Strickland a good role model? Yes or no? Is Sean Strickland a good role model? Right now, we are running at 75% yes. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. But this is an interesting point that, again, I would not have really expected this from uh, uh, from uh, from Strickland. The problem, like, whenever you see something like that, the beta male weak aspect thing to do is to say, no, I'm going to go look at this woman's titties that maybe she put out. But like a real man would say, you know what? You're trash. You're trash. I'm not going to look at her wife. I'm not even though even I want to Google the photo, but I'm not going to do it because the moment I Google that photo and I go look at it, I'm part of the problem. What about on that's an interesting perspective. That's an interesting perspective. And it's a very, um, you know, in the, the same kind of like shopping cart theory. Uh, uh, of morality, where you don't get any extra prize for put it for putting your shopping cart back, and you don't get any punishment for not doing it. This is a similar kind of thing. And I certainly would look at whatever pictures were going around. I mean, why not? But for him to have an internal consciousness that says, no, I'm not going to do that, that, you know, that that says something. On the flip side, though, they sold out. I think they sold out their tickets. But again, this is what you guys are in the world of you guys are in the world of smut peddling. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You guys make a lot of fucking money and you guys you guys are fucking doing it right. But you calling them out, but saying, hey, this is what it is. I don't like it, but respect for you guys doing it the way you're doing it because it's making money. You are in the world of smut peddling. So, and, and this is the really shitty thing about society because you guys, I grew up in the 1990s. Like I had no positive role models in my life. I grew up on 1990s Hollywood. But as a man, as I grow up and I start making more money, I look back at all these influences I had and how detrimental to me. I lied. I cheated on my girlfriend. I've done so much bad shit, bro, that as a man, I have to look myself in the mirror and say, I did this. And why did this happen? Why did this happen? I, it happened because I had no real positive male role models in my life. This is not the way that sociopaths speak. If you don't like him, you don't like him. That's totally fine. But let's call it a spade a spade. I had nobody telling me not to be a piece of shit. Being a piece of shit was encouraged. So I think the best thing you do if you're a man, especially a young man, is turn the shit off. Turn the shit off, man. Except for me. Except for me. It's only going to make your life harder. Yeah. What, what, what changed for you then in your personal experiences? Because you said you used to do the same shit and you changed your attitude. Getting a little bit of money. So when I was poor, man, and when I was poor, I, I would struggle, you know, like you. And I mean, is that not the story of everyone in America? 
everyone. You get a little bit of money and you see like, oh, the entire world looks different to me now. If, if people only knew, again, this idea of, you know, you can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps if you don't have any boots. And so let's just make sure everybody has that basic bare minimum level so that they can, now we can say, if you don't have the life that you want, it's your fault. You become like vindictive. You become like, you just struggle, bro. You just struggle. You see people money. You, you see people like the Instagram titties and you become like, you just fall into the trap of being like this toxic fucking male. And then the moment you start making money and the moment you start doing things more right and you start kind of being a man of your word and you start living better. And again, I still fuck up. I do a lot of fucked up things, dude. But the moment you try, dude, your life becomes exponentially better. And I'm sure you could agree with that. Yeah, I'm sure you could agree with that. So I fair enough. I mean, not too much to add there. Certainly when you are uh, putting effort into a purpose, you obviously are going to feel better about yourself. I just turn off the smut. It's and they're just smut. fucking smut, dude. It is tough. Like, I feel like it's a lot harder to be a male now with like social media and like right. staying loyal to a girl too with like oh my all this shit's dude, just like back in the day. You know, in easy was it, but no, dude, back in the day, like my grandfather, you know, worked at a bar, fucking avid cheater. My mom has fucking, you know, 20, avid 30 cheated. siblings. <laughs> but dude, that man had to try to cheat. My grandfather, he had to go like he had to go to the bars. But now you want to cheat. We could get fucking any kind of you want to give me 10 minutes on my phone and I could get some 10 naked minutes. On this. And he's like, what, what color, what size, what do you want her to do? She'll be right here. Especially if they're in Vegas. I assume they're in Vegas. Fucking table. So it's hard, dude. It's hard to be a fucking male, dude. It's hard to be a male. And like, yeah, man, it's, fu it's fucking rough, dude. It, it, the moment you like, the moment you open your eyes and you see what society has done to men, it is fucking rough. Even hey. like you want to talk about like wage, you know, I always okay. So this will be this will be the test because first of all, talking about men's issues is not political normie conversation at all. So he's talking about wage. So let's see where he goes with this. We say it would it would be an easier time to be a man in 1942 than it is a man in 2023. And you have people come and tell me, well, Sean, why is that? You you have to go storm the beaches of Normandy. You gotta go. You gotta go invade. You know you gotta go invade. That sounds terrible. It's not. It's terrible. You might die, but you come back and you know 1946 or whatever World War II ended. You could go be a mechanic. You could get paid a living wage. You get respected. You can raise a family. You probably have some God in you because that was before it got washed out. All right. Well, you guys know how I feel about that part. But if we're just talking about the values, then yes, absolutely. That even though there uh, uh, was, or let's just say, even though there are parts of life today that are way easier, the uh, when you adjust for the fact that we never lived without those things. So it's not like those are uh, uh, seen or felt as privileges. Like the fact, especially, you know, like Zoomers and the internet. Like you can't, you can't imagine what the, the world was like without the internet. So you can't think of that as a privilege, even though it absolutely is. You have to think about people's experience from their own starting point. And life was just simpler back then. It was just simpler. And you, if you had it bad, it would probably be worse. But a lot of people didn't, you know? You guys, can get three more likes in here, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And you have a good life. And now let's fast forward to 2023. The, you, you have this conspiracy theory of corporations and government trying to turn people into these mindless smut consumers. Being a man in 2023, what is that like? One, more than likely, you both your parents work growing up. Yeah, yeah. Both your parents work growing up, so you have a kid. He's gonna be raised by a school system that indoctrinates him into utter fucking trash, and, and not only that, Back. public school. So mostly talking about public school and how schooling is. I mean, again, man, I'm just saying, political normie, maybe not. The kids that he's going to school with are fucking trash. So it's like you cannot filter out the damage from society. So now you're an adult. Now you're you're 18 years old. You have no moral backing. You have no you have no real constitution of what right is wrong is. All but Jay, you're saying that he's just saying the obvious. But 
we like uh, he's not a politico he's not a, a, a pundit this is somebody who is not in the weeds like we are these he is not he just said that he's not into this stuff he's not paying attention to uh you know the news and what this uh, uh popular person is saying and what that person is saying so he's just gathering this from experience and looking out at the world and his anecdotal experience and you know okay he spends a lot of time on twitter but you know the um uh, i'm sure he's not you know digging into the 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 depths of you know foreign policy and stuff so the point is again we have to understand that we are looking at this conversation from the context of who is Sean Strickland and and it, you know if he's spending all his time training to now become the world champion and also being able to understand these things, then that's a huge cultural shift that, I mean, if it is so that he's the political normie, then that's a great thing. That's a great thing. Because to me, this sounds like conservative talk. And the only reason that it, it is that way, not is because he's paying attention to conservative uh, uh, pundits and stuff, but reality now seems to have a, a culturally conservative uh, tinge. Shout out to Unwanted Foe with a $2 super chat. No question, no comment, just pure love of the game. Where's Morty? Let's see if we can get him up here. What do you want to treat? Come here. Come here. Come on. No, you don't want it? All right, then it's staying up here. It's staying up here. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can. Run. Oh, and again, Melted Mind Media stealing, stealing the sponsorship spot. Come on. There we go. Oh, I think Melty got him. Melty got it. Come on, come here. Come on. Hey, Melted Mind Media, not only the sponsor of the stream, but brought in the best co-host ever. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Much, much appreciated. All you want to do is you want to get met. You want to get laid. You want, you want all the money because that's what you see on the Instagram. Being a man in 2023 is impossible. And then, you know, last thing before I end this rant, you want to talk about wages. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dan Jensen. Dan Jensen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's just get this out of the way. And Morty's like, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, of course, that makes you the new sponsor of the stream thank you so much guys you are so 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 generous very much appreciate you can't be a man and have a they they took all self-respect from men you can't be a man and go be a mechanic and support a family the government robbed you like uh the ceos rob you it is it, we are in a fucking awful awful place right now to be a man it's fucking rough where do you where do you think that comes from though like is is that coming from some corporations like, man like the cops trying to like change roles in let society? me ask you something if you want if you are like a corporation and you want more money do you want do you want strong moral values with a man working and raising a family I mean, I sure would. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.